Just 10 days shy of what would have been her 55th birthday, Lisa Marie Presley was laid to rest. Welcome everyone to Entertainment Tonight. Kevin Frazier joins us from Graceland. Kev, this was a homecoming filled with heartbreak. Michelle, heartbreaking is the perfect word. You know, just think back to two weeks ago, Lisa Marie was right here on the lawn at Graceland celebrating what would have been Elvis's 88th birthday and many of the fans who attended that day came back for her memorial service and so many great moments, including Alanis Morissette's fitting performance of her song, Rest. She's been pushing for a while. Can we cut this one slack and let her lie down? Lisa Marie Presley was an icon, a role model, a superhero to many people all over the world. My late uh, mother-in-law used to say, grief is the price we pay for love. And how right she was. Oprah sent white roses and nearly 5,000 mourners gathered to say goodbye to Lisa Marie. In the second row, Elvis star Austin Butler. He broke down in tears during Amazing Grace. Girlfriend Kaya Gerber comforted him. But perhaps the most heart-wrenching moment was this. I'm gonna read something Riley wrote. Lisa Marie's daughter, actress Riley Keough, was so overcome with emotion, her husband stepped in to deliver her eulogy. A letter to my mama. I remember everything. I remember you giving me baths as a baby. I remember all the notes you'd leave in my lunchbox every day. The eulogy included a surprise. Riley and Ben had recently had a baby girl, making Lisa Marie a grandmother shortly before her death. I hope I can love my daughter the way you loved me. Survivors, guilt, some would say, but a broken heart was the doing of her death. Lisa Marie passed away two and a half years after her son Benjamin committed suicide. Motherhood is one of the things that bonded her with close friend Sarah Ferguson. Mothers losing children. It, there are no words for it. I stand here with great honor uh, because we called each other sissy. We've learned that Lisa Marie became friends with Fergie when she was living in England in 2010. They've stayed close and had spoken just a few weeks ago. Because nothing lasts forever, even cold November rain. Axl Rose delivered another moving performance, singing November Rain. He told me Lisa Marie had wanted the song played at her funeral. Your tribute was so beautiful. What did it mean to be here and honor Lisa Marie? I wanted to do right by her and the family and the, and the fans. So it, it meant a lot. I was, I was pretty nervous and emotional up there. She was extremely proud, as proud as anyone could ever be of her father and his place in music. Twilight fades. Billy Corgan, the front man of Smashing Pumpkins and Lisa Marie's good friend, led off the solo performances for a star-studded crowd that included Evan Ross, Elvis director Baz Luhrmann, as well as both of Lisa Marie's ex-husbands, Danny Keough and Michael Lockwood. The Blackwood Brothers Quartet, including the son of Elvis's close friend, Billy Blackwood, paid tribute to the King's only daughter, whom they met as a baby. How great thou art. Elvis, uh, How Great Thou Art, was one of the, the songs that, that he'd done just about every show. What did it mean to be able to honor Lisa Marie today? It was an honor and a privilege to be invited to her memorial service, something I never thought we'd be involved with but uh, it was quite, quite the honor. Lisa's voice will only be amplified with time and never be silenced or diminished. It's still to an extent not real. I mean, I, I was here 50 feet away uh, with Lisa two weeks ago. Joel Weinshanker, president of Elvis Presley Enterprises, is still in shock over the 54-year-old's passing. Her cause of death is deferred pending toxicology, which could take months. Lisa Marie spent some of her final days with Joel. The two celebrated her father's 88th birthday here at Graceland. How was she that last week? It was the, by far the best week of her life since Benjamin passed. Uh, she was happy. She had an amazing time at the Golden Globe. She was so happy that Austin won. She said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my foot if Austin loses. The Presley family, thank you guys. Joel says Lisa's last wishes for both her memorial and for Graceland have been carried out. It was Lisa's desire 
without question uh, that her children take over. It will be Riley's home, uh, without question. Felt like I needed to be here. I just wanted to come show my respect and love for the family. In one poignant moment, we saw some fans, a few of whom got to Graceland as early as 2 a.m., hold up their programs, adorned with Lisa Marie's face in tribute. They joined the processional to the meditation garden, where she was laid to rest next to her son, Benjamin. There was no question she wanted to be buried at Graceland. She wanted to be buried next to her son. The one thing she said is just don't make it sad. No!